Imagine a world where shadows come alive, where unseen forces stir in the night, and where whispers carry the weight of ancient fears. This is the realm of demons, beings that haunt the tales of cultures across the globe. But what are demons, beyond the chilling stories that send shivers down our spines? To understand them is to peel back the layers of human imagination and encounter the very essence of our deepest fears and desires. In mythology and folklore, demons are not merely creatures of malevolence and terror. They embody the primal forces of the unknown, the darkness that lurks at the edges of our understanding. These beings are shapeshifters, appearing in myriad forms, from grotesque monsters with fangs and claws to seductive tempters who prey upon our weaknesses. They dwell in the spaces between worlds, in shadowed forests and desolate plains, where reality blurs and dreams bleed into nightmares. But why do these spectral beings hold such sway over our collective consciousness? It is because they mirror our own inner demons, the doubts and desires that haunt us in moments of vulnerability. They embody our fears of the unknown and our struggles against the darker aspects of human nature. In their stories, we confront our mortality, our capacity for evil, and our yearning for forbidden knowledge. Across cultures, demons carry a cultural significance that transcends their terrifying visages. In ancient Mesopotamia, they were the vengeful spirits of the dead, hungry for retribution against the living. In Hindu mythology, demons challenge the gods themselves, embodying the eternal battle between chaos and order. And in European folklore, they lurk in the shadows of haunted castles and mistrouded moors, symbols of the untamed wilderness that lies beyond the safety of hearth and home. But demons are more than mere monsters. They are symbols of cultural anxieties and moral dilemmas, reflecting the values and fears of the societies that create them. In medieval Europe, demons represented the temptations of the flesh and the eternal struggle between sin and salvation. In Japanese folklore, they are the restless spirits of the unjustly deceased, seeking justice in a world that has forgotten them. Yet, despite their fearsome reputation, demons also offer us a mirror through which we can confront our own humanity. They challenge us to question our beliefs, to confront our fears, and to explore the darker corners of our own souls. In their stories, we find catharsis and redemption, as heroes rise to vanquish evil and restore order to a world threatened by chaos. In the end, the cultural significance of demons lies not in their ability to terrify, but in their power to provoke introspection and empathy. They remind us that the line between good and evil is not always clear-cut, that darkness and light exist in all of us. And as we face the demons of myth and legend, we are reminded that our greatest battles are often fought not on distant battlefields, but within the depths of our own hearts and minds. So, the next time you hear a rustle in the dark or feel a chill down your spine, remember, demons are not just creatures of fantasy and fear. They are reflections of our shared humanity, symbols of our deepest hopes and darkest fears. And in their stories, we find the courage to confront the shadows that lie within us all. In the shadows of history and folklore, across the tapestry of cultures that span our world, there exists a myriad of beings that defy explanation and chill the soul. These are the demons, creatures whose names evoke fear and whose stories resonate through the ages. But what exactly are these demons, and how do they manifest across different cultures? In ancient Mesopotamia, where the cradle of civilization flourished, demons were not mere figments of imagination, but tangible forces that shaped the lives of mortals. Among them were the Lamashtu, a malevolent spirit who preyed upon mothers and infants, causing sickness and death. Her visage was that of a hideous creature with a lion's head, donkey's teeth, and bird's feet, a sight that struck fear into the hearts of those who heard her name whispered in the night. Across the sands of Egypt, demons took on forms both animal and human, each embodying a different aspect of the natural world. Amit, the devourer of souls, stood as judge over the hearts of the deceased, her crocodile jaws ready to consume those found wanting in the scales of justice. She was a fearsome sight, her composite form a testament to the Egyptians' belief in the afterlife and the perils that awaited those who dared to cross into the realm of the dead. In the myths of Greece and Rome, Demons walked among gods and mortals alike, their presence a reminder of the capricious nature of divine beings. 
Impusa, a shape-shifting demoness, prowled the night in search of unsuspecting travelers, her form shifting from beautiful maiden to monstrous hound with a single glance. She embodied the temptation and danger that lurked beyond the safety of city walls, a reminder that not all that glitters is gold in the world of gods and monsters. But demons are not confined to the ancient world alone. In the tales of the Abrahamic religions, they take on a more sinister guise, embodying the forces of darkness and temptation that threaten the souls of believers. Asmodeus, the king of demons in Jewish lore, was said to possess great knowledge of the secrets of the universe, yet his wisdom came at a terrible price, the corruption of those who sought to wield it for their own gain. His tale serves as a cautionary reminder of the dangers of pride and ambition, and the lengths to which demons will go to ensnare the unwary. In the rich tapestry of Hindu mythology, demons are often portrayed as formidable adversaries to the gods themselves, their power and cunning matched only by their thirst for conquest and revenge. Ravana, the ten-headed king of the Rakshasas, stands as a testament to this tradition, his mastery of dark magic and martial prowess making him a worthy foe to the god Rama in the epic Ramayana. Yet, even in his defeat, Ravana embodies the complexities of moral ambiguity, his tragic flaw a reminder that demons, like humans, are not always defined by their actions alone. Across the mistrouded landscapes of Celtic and Norse mythology, demons take on forms both grotesque and beguiling, their presence a reflection of the untamed wilderness that lies beyond the borders of civilization. Banshees, spectral beings who herald death with their mournful wails, serve as omens of impending doom to those who hear their cry. Meanwhile, in the frozen reaches of Scandinavia, frost giants and draugr haunt the imaginations of Norsemen, their monstrous forms embodying the harshness of their environment and the dangers that lurk in the darkness of winter's long nights. But perhaps nowhere are demons more prevalent than in the folklore of Japan, where spirits and yokai populate every shadow and forest grove. Among them is Oni, fearsome ogres with horns and fangs, who delight in tormenting mortals and feasting on their suffering. Yet, even among these monstrous beings, there are tales of compassion and redemption, as demons such as Kitsum and Tanuki shapeshifters who use their powers for mischief or benevolence, depending on their mood and the whims of fate. In every corner of the world, demons embody the fears and desires of humanity, their stories a testament to the enduring power of myth and folklore to shape our understanding of the world around us. They are more than just creatures of darkness and malevolence, they are reflections of our own struggles and aspirations, our capacity for both good and evil. And as we confront these demons in their myriad forms, we are reminded that the line between reality and fantasy is often thinner than we dare to imagine, and that the stories we tell ourselves have the power to both terrify and inspire. In the annals of human history, amidst the flickering torchlight of ancient civilizations and the ink-stained scrolls of medieval scholars, there exists a profound fascination with the supernatural. At the heart of this intrigue lies demonology, the study of demons, a discipline that has evolved over millennia to illuminate the shadows of our collective imagination. From the dawn of civilization, humanity has grappled with the unseen forces that shape our lives and our fears. In ancient Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, demons were believed to be the spirits of the restless dead, wandering the earth in search of vengeance or redemption. Sumerian clay tablets speak of Utaku, malevolent spirits who preyed upon the living, their forms shifting from shadow to substance with each whispered incantation. Imagine a land where the sun sets like a burning ember behind the ziggurats, casting long shadows that dance with unseen spirits. Here, Lamista prowls in the twilight, her form a grotesque amalgamation of beast and woman. With the head of a lioness and the body of a donkey, she roams the night, seeking to steal away newborns and mothers in the throes of childbirth. Her name strikes terror into the hearts of parents, who ward off her malevolent gaze with prayers and protective amulets. But Lamashtu is not alone in the pantheon of Mesopotamian demons. Pazuzu, her counterpart and sometimes adversary, stands as a guardian against her nefarious deeds. With the body of a man, wings of an eagle, and the talons of a lion, Pazuzu is a fearsome sight, his visage carved into amulets and statues meant to ward off evil spirits. Yet, despite his protective role, Pazuzu is also known for his capricious nature, capable of bringing both blessings and curses to those who invoke his name. 
In the ancient city of Babylon, demons were seen not merely as malevolent spirits, but as cosmic forces that could be harnessed for both good and ill. Lamashtu and Pazuzu were believed to be part of a larger pantheon of spirits, each with their own domain and influence over the natural world. From the fertile fields to the bustling marketplaces, these beings shaped the lives of mortals in ways both subtle and profound. The stories of Pazuzu and Lamashtu served not only to explain the mysteries of life and death, but also to provide comfort and solace in the face of adversity. Parents invoked Pazuzu to protect their children from illness and misfortune, while pregnant women sought the intercession of Lamashtu to ensure a safe delivery. These demons were not merely figures of superstition, but guardians and guides, their stories woven into the fabric of everyday life in ancient Mesopotamia. As the centuries passed and empires rose and fell, the legacy of Pazuzu and Lamashtu endured, their names whispered in hushed tones by those who sought protection from the unseen forces that lurked beyond the safety of city walls. In the archaeological ruins of ancient temples and palaces, artifacts bearing their likenesses were unearthed, offering glimpses into a world where gods and demons walked among mortals. Today, the tales of Pazuzu and Lamashtu continue to captivate the imagination, their stories serving as a reminder of humanity's enduring fascination with the supernatural. They remind us that, even in our modern age of science and reason, there are still mysteries that defy explanation and fears that linger in the shadows of our consciousness. And as we gaze into the ancient eyes of these Mesopotamian demons, we are reminded of our shared humanity and the timeless quest for meaning in a world filled with both light and darkness. In the sands of ancient Egypt, where the Nile's waters ebbed and flowed, the realm of gods and spirits intertwined with mortal lives in ways both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Among these divine beings were the demons, entities that embodied the fears and uncertainties of a people whose lives were intricately tied to the rhythms of the natural world. Two such demons, Apep and Amet, stood as formidable adversaries in the Egyptian mythos, their names whispered in reverence and fear through the corridors of time. Picture a land where the sun rises like a golden disk above the pyramids, casting its rays across the fertile plains and shimmering waters of the Nile. Here, amidst the palm groves and temple precincts, lurked Apep, the ancient serpent god of chaos and darkness. With a body that stretched across the horizon and eyes that glowed like embers, Apep embodied the primordial forces of destruction that threatened to engulf the ordered cosmos. Each day, as the sun god Ari traversed the sky in his solar bark, Apep lay in wait, his serpent coils poised to devour the life-giving light. The battle between Ari and Apep was not merely a celestial spectacle, but a cosmic struggle between order and chaos, light and darkness. In the heart of the Egyptian underworld, amidst the judgment halls and weighing of hearts, awaited Amet, the devourer of souls. With the head of a crocodile, the body of a lioness, and the hindquarters of a hippopotamus, Amit stood as judge over the hearts of the deceased. As souls passed into the realm of Osiris, god of the dead, their hearts were weighed against the feather of truth. Those found wanting, whose hearts were heavy with sin and deceit, faced the wrath of Amit, who devoured their essence, condemning them to eternal oblivion. But Amet was not merely a fearsome specter of judgment, she was also a symbol of the Egyptians' belief in the cyclical nature of life and death. Her presence in funerary rites served as a reminder of the importance of moral integrity and righteous living in the journey to the afterlife. Through her devouring jaws, Amet offered a path to redemption for those who sought to atone for their transgressions and emerge purified on the shores of the field of reeds. In the temples and tombs of ancient Egypt, Demons like Apep and Amet were not worshipped in the traditional sense, but revered as potent symbols of divine power and cosmic order. Their images adorned amulets and talismans meant to ward off evil spirits and protect the living from harm. Priests and scribes invoked their names in rituals and incantations, seeking to harness their mystical energies for the benefit of the community. As the sands of time shifted and empires rose and fell, the legacy of Egyptian demons endured, their stories woven into the tapestry of Egyptian religion and mythology. In the archaeological treasures unearthed from the depths of the desert, artifacts bearing their likenesses offered glimpses into a world where gods and demons walked among mortals, their influence shaping the course of history and the destiny of nations. Today, 
The tales of Apep and Amit continue to resonate with a timeless resonance, their stories serving as a reminder of humanity's enduring fascination with the supernatural. They remind us that, even in our modern age of scientific rationalism, there are mysteries that defy explanation and fears that linger in the shadows of our consciousness. And as we gaze upon the ancient images of these Egyptian demons, we are reminded of our shared humanity and the timeless quest for meaning in a world filled with both light and darkness. In the shadowy realms of ancient Greece and Rome, where the gods and heroes strode the earth like giants and the fates of mortals hung by a thread, there existed beings of darkness and mystery, demons whose names struck fear into the hearts of those who dared utter them. Among these entities were Lamia and Impusa, creatures whose stories weave through the tapestry of myth and legend, revealing glimpses of a world where beauty and terror coalesce in haunting harmony. Imagine a time when the olive groves whispered secrets to the moonlit night, and the winds carried the echoes of ancient tales across sun-kissed hills. In the labyrinthine streets of ancient Greece, where marble statues gleamed with the patina of age, Lamia prowled in the shadows, her beauty a mask for the darkness that dwelled within. Once a queen of Libya, beloved by the god Zeus, Lamia suffered a tragic fate at the hands of Hera, who cursed her with insatiable hunger for the children of others. Consumed by grief and rage, Lamia wandered the land, her piercing wails echoing through the night as she sought solace in the embrace of darkness. But Lamia was not alone in the pantheon of Greek demons. Across the hills and valleys of the ancient world lurked Impusa, a shape-shifting spirit with a penchant for seduction and deceit. With her flaming hair and eyes of burning coal, Impusa stalked the unwary traveler, luring them into her grasp with promises of passion and pleasure. Once ensnared, she would reveal her true form, a monstrous creature with brass feet and donkey legs, before feasting upon her victim's flesh and blood. Her name became synonymous with deception and betrayal, a cautionary tale for those who dared trust in appearances alone. In the myths and legends of ancient Greece and Rome, demons like Lamia and Impusa served as metaphors for the darker aspects of human nature, lust, jealousy, and unchecked ambition. Their stories offered moral lessons about the consequences of hubris and the dangers of succumbing to base desires. Yet, they also reflected deeper truths about the complexities of existence and the fragile boundary between civilization and savagery. As the centuries passed and empires rose and fell, the tales of Lamia and Impusa endured, their names whispered in the ears of storytellers and poets who sought to capture the essence of human experience. In the works of playwrights like Euripides and Aristophanes, these demons took on new life, their stories adapted and reimagined to reflect the evolving beliefs and values of ancient society. In the hearts of the ancient Greeks and Romans, demons were not merely malevolent spirits, but symbolic manifestations of the unconscious mind and primal instincts. Lamia and Impusa embodied the fears and desires that lurked beneath the surface of polite society, their stories offering catharsis and release for those who dared confront the darker aspects of their own souls. Today, the tales of Lamia and Impusa continue to resonate with a timeless resonance, their stories serving as a reminder of humanity's enduring fascination with the supernatural. They remind us that, even in our modern age of science and reason, there are mysteries that defy explanation and fears that linger in the shadows of our consciousness. And as we gaze upon the ancient images of these Greek and Roman demons, we are reminded of our shared humanity and the timeless quest for meaning in a world filled with both light and darkness. In the annals of human storytelling, few figures evoke as much fascination and fear as the demons of biblical lore. From the celestial rebellion of Lucifer to the seductive malevolence of Asmodeus, these entities embody the eternal struggle between good and evil, light and darkness, that has captivated the hearts and minds of believers and skeptics alike through the ages. Imagine a realm where the heavens themselves tremble with the weight of cosmic conflict, where angels and demons clash in a battle that spans eternity. At the heart of this celestial drama stands Lucifer, the morning star, once the most beloved of all angels, his radiance rivaling that of the sun itself. But pride, that most insidious of sins, seeped into his heart like a poison, driving him to defy the divine order and proclaim himself equal to God. Cast out from the heavens in a blaze of glory, Lucifer became the embodiment of rebellion and defiance, a fallen angel whose name would become synonymous with the depths of despair and the allure of forbidden knowledge. Yet, 
Lucifer is not the only biblical demon whose name sends shivers down the spine of believers. In the labyrinthine passages of ancient texts, another figure lurks, a demon whose insatiable lust and cunning intellect strike fear into the hearts of mortals. Asmodeus, the prince of hell, with his fiery gaze and forked tongue, embodies the darker aspects of human desire and temptation. Known as the demon of lust and wrath, Asmodeus preys upon the weaknesses of the flesh and the frailty of the spirit, leading souls astray with promises of power and pleasure. In the scriptures and apocryphal texts of Judeo-Christian tradition, demons like Lucifer and Asmodeus serve as cautionary tales, warning believers of the dangers of pride, lust, and hubris. Their stories reveal the consequences of straying from the path of righteousness and succumbing to the allure of worldly temptations. Yet, they also reflect deeper truths about the complexities of human nature and the eternal struggle between sin and redemption. As the pages of history turned and civilizations rose and fell, the legends of Lucifer and Asmodeus endured, their names whispered in the hallowed halls of churches and cathedrals, their images depicted in paintings and sculptures that adorned sacred spaces. In the minds of believers, these biblical demons became symbols of the ongoing battle between good and evil, light and darkness, a reminder that the choices we make and the paths we choose have consequences that echo through eternity. In literature and art, Lucifer and Asmodeus have been portrayed as tragic figures, their stories imbued with a sense of pathos and existential anguish. They are not mere villains, but complex characters grappling with their own desires and destinies, their struggles mirroring the eternal conflict within the human soul. Today, the tales of Lucifer and Asmodeus continue to resonate with a timeless resonance, their stories serving as a reminder of humanity's enduring fascination with the supernatural and the moral dilemmas that define our existence. They remind us that, even in our modern age of scientific rationalism, the mysteries of faith and the complexities of the human condition remain as compelling and enigmatic as ever. And as we contemplate the ancient figures of Lucifer and Asmodeus, we are confronted with questions that transcend time and space, questions about the nature of good and evil, the limits of free will, and the eternal quest for meaning and redemption in a world fraught with temptation and turmoil. In the vast tapestry of Islamic mythology and spirituality, the realm of demons is populated by beings both fearsome and enigmatic. Among these entities stand Iblis and the Jinn, whose stories intertwine with the fate of humanity in ways that evoke both awe and trepidation, revealing insights into the cosmic struggle between good and evil that resonates through the ages. Imagine a world where the call to prayer echoes through bustling markets and quiet courtyards, where the crescent moon hangs low in the night sky like a silver scimitar. Here, amidst the desert sands and verdant oases, Iblis stands as a figure of defiance and temptation, a fallen angel whose pride led to his expulsion from the divine presence. Once known as Azazel, Iblis was among the most devoted of the angels, his devotion matched only by his arrogance. When God created Adam, the first human, and commanded the angels to bow before him, Iblis refused, consumed by jealousy and hubris. For this act of disobedience, Iblis was cast out of paradise, his wings scorched black as a reminder of his rebellion. But Iblis did not fade into obscurity, instead, he vowed to lead humanity astray, whispering temptations into the hearts of mortals and sowing discord among the righteous. In the Quranic narrative, Iblis becomes the archetypal adversary, the Shaitan, who tests the faith and resolve of believers, seeking to turn them away from the path of righteousness and towards the darkness of disbelief. In the realm of the Jinn, another category of beings exists, creatures of smokeless fire, endowed with free will and supernatural abilities. Unlike angels, who are bound to obey God's commands, Jinn possess the freedom to choose their own paths, whether good or evil. Some jinn are benevolent, serving as guardians and allies to humans, while others are malevolent, delighting in causing harm and mischief. Legends speak of powerful jinn who shapeshift into fearsome forms, haunting desolate places and ensnaring unwary travelers with their illusions and trickery. Among the jinn exists a hierarchy of beings, from lowly spirits to powerful entities capable of wielding magic and influencing the course of human affairs. Tales abound of jinn who fall in love with mortals, their passions leading to both blessings and curses for those caught in their otherworldly embrace. 
Through these stories, the Jinn serve as a reminder of the unseen forces that dwell beyond the veil of the material world, their presence shaping the beliefs and practices of Islamic tradition. In Islamic cosmology, demons like Iblis and the Jinn embody the eternal struggle between good and evil, light and darkness, that defines the human experience. Their stories serve as allegories for the trials and tribulations faced by believers, as well as a reminder of the importance of steadfastness in the face of adversity. Through their actions and choices, Iblis and the Jinn challenge humanity to confront its own weaknesses and strive for spiritual enlightenment and moral rectitude. As the centuries have passed and empires have risen and fallen, the tales of Iblis and the Jinn have endured, their names spoken in reverence and caution by scholars and storytellers alike. In the intricate calligraphy of Quranic verses and the vibrant tapestries of Islamic art, their images are rendered with a blend of reverence and awe, capturing the dual nature of their existence as both agents of temptation and instruments of divine justice. Today, the stories of Iblis and the Jinn continue to resonate with a timeless resonance, their narratives offering insights into the complexities of faith, free will, and the struggle for spiritual purity. They remind us that, even in our modern age of scientific rationalism, the mysteries of the unseen world and the enduring power of myth and legend continue to shape our understanding of the human condition. And as we contemplate the ancient figures of Iblis and the Jinn, we are invited to reflect on our own choices and beliefs, and to seek wisdom and guidance in navigating the eternal conflict between light and darkness within and around us. In the vibrant tapestry of Hindu mythology, where gods and demons clash amidst celestial battles and mortal quests, figures like Ravana and the Rakshasas stand as formidable symbols of power, ambition, and the eternal struggle between righteousness and temptation. Their stories resonate with profound themes of heroism, devotion, and the complexities of moral choices, weaving a narrative that captivates the imagination and stirs the soul. Picture a world where the Himalayan peaks pierce the sky and the rivers flow with the essence of eternity. In the ancient kingdom of Lanka, ruled by the mighty Ravana, the air is thick with the scent of incense and the sound of chanting echoes through the palaces adorned with precious gems. Ravana, with his ten heads and twenty arms, stands as a figure of awe and fear, a brilliant scholar, a formidable warrior, and a devotee of the highest order. His kingdom stretches across lands untamed and rivers unbridled, a testament to his prowess and ambition. But Ravana's thirst for power and desire for conquest lead him down a path of conflict with the gods themselves. His abduction of Sita, the beloved wife of Rama, the divine incarnation, sets in motion a series of events that reverberate through the heavens and the earth. Ravana's arrogance and defiance of cosmic order make him a tragic figure, a complex antagonist whose virtues and vices intertwine in a tapestry of destiny and choice. Yet, Ravana is not alone in the pantheon of Hindu demons. Throughout the epics and scriptures, the Rakshasas emerge as a race of beings embodying both terror and intrigue. Born of the union between Pulasetya, one of the ancient sages, and the daughter of Brahma, they possess formidable powers and insatiable appetites. Some Rakshasas are depicted as grotesque creatures with fangs and claws, while others take on human forms of beguiling beauty and cunning intellect. In the tales of Hindu mythology, the Rakshasas serve as foils to the noble heroes and gods, challenging them with their dark magic and malevolent intentions. Yet, they are not merely embodiments of evil, they possess complex motivations and allegiances, their actions driven by desires for power, revenge, or redemption. Through their encounters with gods and mortals alike, the Rakshasas offer insights into the eternal struggle between virtue and vice, duty and desire, that defines the human experience. As the epics of Ramayana and Mahabharata unfold, the stories of Ravana and the Rakshasas resonate with themes of loyalty and betrayal, righteousness and temptation. The narratives transcend time and place, offering moral lessons and philosophical reflections on the nature of dharma, righteousness, and karma, action. Through their trials and tribulations, they remind us of the complexities of human nature and the eternal quest for spiritual enlightenment. In temples and shrines across India and beyond, Ravana and the Rakshasas are revered as symbols of the enduring power of myth and the lessons they impart. 
Their images adorn sculptures and paintings, their stories recited in prayers and rituals that celebrate the triumph of good over evil and the victory of righteousness over tyranny. Through their enduring presence in Hindu culture and spirituality, they continue to inspire reverence and contemplation, inviting devotees to reflect on the eternal battle between light and darkness within and around them. Today, the tales of Ravana and the Rakshasas continue to captivate hearts and minds, their stories serving as a testament to the richness and depth of Hindu mythology. They remind us that, amidst the complexities of life and the challenges we face, there are timeless truths and profound insights to be gleaned from the myths and legends that have shaped the cultural and spiritual landscape of India for millennia. And as we reflect on the ancient figures of Ravana and the Rakshasas, we are reminded of the enduring power of storytelling to illuminate the human condition and inspire us to strive for virtue, courage, and compassion in our own journeys through life. In the serene realms of Buddhist mythology, where enlightenment and compassion are sought amidst the cycle of birth and rebirth, demons like Mara and Pretas embody spiritual obstacles and existential challenges that resonate with profound emotional depth and universal relevance. Their stories weave the tapestry of temptation, perseverance, and the quest for transcendence that captivates the soul and illuminates the path towards spiritual awakening. Imagine a world where the lotus blooms in tranquil ponds, its petals unfolding in harmony with the rhythms of nature. Here, amidst the sacred groves and towering stupas, Mara stands as a formidable presence, an embodiment of desire, delusion, and the egoic forces that obscure the path to enlightenment. Known as the tempter and lord of illusion, Mara seeks to ensnare sentient beings in the web of worldly attachments, leading them astray from the path of liberation and awakening. In Buddhist cosmology, Mara is not merely a demon in the traditional sense, but a metaphorical representation of the inner obstacles that hinder spiritual progress. His armies of Mara s wage relentless battles against the bodhisattvas and practitioners of the Dharma, tempting them with visions of sensual pleasures, instilling doubt and fear, and challenging their resolve to transcend the cycle of suffering. Yet, in the presence of enlightened beings like Buddha, Mara's illusions dissolve like mist before the morning sun, revealing the truth of impermanence and the interdependence of all phenomena. Alongside Mara, the realm of Pretas, often translated as hungry ghosts, offers a poignant reflection on the consequences of greed and unfulfilled desires. Pretas are depicted as beings with insatiable appetites, their forms emaciated and their throats too narrow to satisfy their hunger and thirst. Trapped in a state of perpetual craving, Pretas wander through desolate landscapes, haunted by the echoes of their past actions and the consequences of their attachments. In Buddhist teachings, Pretas serve as a cautionary tale, illustrating the perils of excessive attachment and the suffering that arises from clinging to transient pleasures. Their plight evokes empathy and compassion, reminding practitioners of the importance of cultivating generosity, mindfulness, and ethical conduct in alleviating the suffering of all beings, including those trapped in the realms of existence. Through the tales of Mara and Pretas, Buddhist mythology offers profound insights into the human condition and the existential challenges that confront individuals on their spiritual journey. These demons are not external adversaries, but symbolic representations of the inner struggles and psychological barriers that must be overcome to attain enlightenment and realize the ultimate truth of Buddha's teachings. Across temples and monasteries, murals and sculptures depict scenes of Mara's defeat and the compassionate guidance of Buddha towards beings trapped in the cycle of suffering. Their stories inspire practitioners to confront their own inner Mara's, the cravings, fears, and illusions that obscure clarity of mind and hinder spiritual progress. Through meditation, mindfulness, and the cultivation of wisdom, Buddhists seek to transcend the grip of Mara and attain liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Today, the stories of Mara and Pretas continue to resonate with timeless wisdom and universal truths, offering guidance and solace to those navigating the complexities of modern life. They remind us that the pursuit of inner peace and spiritual awakening is a journey fraught with challenges and obstacles, yet filled with the promise of liberation and profound understanding. And as we reflect on the ancient figures of Mara and Pretas, we are invited to contemplate our own attachments and illusions, and to aspire towards greater compassion, wisdom, and enlightenment in the pursuit of true happiness and freedom from suffering. 
In the rich tapestry of Chinese mythology, where ancient traditions blend with celestial mysteries, figures like Zhong Kuei and Neza stand as legendary symbols of heroism, valor, and the eternal struggle against malevolent forces. Their stories resonate with a blend of awe-inspiring feats, moral lessons, and the enduring spirit of resilience that captures the imagination and touches the heart of all who hear them. Imagine a realm where the mist swirls around towering mountains and ancient pagodas, where the serenity of bamboo forests hides tales of bravery and supernatural prowess. Here, amidst the bustling streets of ancient China, Zhong Kuei emerges as a figure of both awe and fear, a fierce warrior with a face that frightens demons themselves. Legend has it that Zhong Kuei was once a mortal scholar who, despite his exceptional intellect and courage, was denied a position in the imperial court due to his disfigured appearance. In despair, he took his own life at the gates of the imperial palace. But in death, Zhong Kuei was not destined for rest. His spirit returned from the underworld, armed with a sword and the mandate to rid the world of malevolent spirits and demons. With his knowledge of magic and his unwavering determination, Zhong Kuei became a vanquisher of evil, protecting the living from supernatural threats and ensuring peace for generations to come. Neza, on the other hand, emerges from the depths of Chinese mythology as a divine child, a courageous warrior born from a lotus flower amidst tumultuous storms and celestial battles. Gifted with superhuman strength and wielding a fiery wheel as his weapon, Neza embodies the spirit of defiance against fate and the determination to forge one's own destiny. His adventures take him across realms, from battling dragons and demons to challenging the gods themselves in defense of the innocent and the righteous. In Chinese folklore, Neza is revered as a protector of children and a symbol of youthful vigor and heroism. His exploits inspire courage and determination in the face of adversity, reminding mortals of the power of righteousness and the boundless potential within each individual to overcome challenges and achieve greatness. Through the tales of Zhong Kuei and Neza, Chinese mythology offers a glimpse into a world where the supernatural intersects with mortal affairs, where heroes rise to confront darkness and injustice with bravery and conviction. These stories resonate with themes of justice, loyalty, and the eternal quest for balance between the forces of yin and yang, light and darkness, order and chaos, that shape the cosmos. In temples and festivals throughout China and beyond, Zhong Kuei and Neza are honored as cultural icons and spiritual guardians, their images depicted in statues, paintings, and performances that celebrate their valor and enduring legacy. Their stories continue to inspire awe and admiration, offering timeless lessons on the virtues of courage, compassion, and the indomitable spirit that transcends mortal boundaries. Today, as we reflect on the ancient figures of Zhong Kuei and Neza, we are reminded of the enduring power of myth and legend to illuminate the human experience and inspire us to aspire towards greater heights of bravery, righteousness, and resilience in our own lives. Their tales remind us that, amidst the challenges and uncertainties of the world, there is always hope and the potential for heroic deeds that transcend the ordinary and touch the divine. In the shadowed corners of medieval Europe, where superstition mingled with religious fervor, tales of demons like succubi and incubi whispered of forbidden desires and nocturnal visitations that stirred both fear and fascination among the populace. These eerie figures, woven into the fabric of folklore and religious doctrine, evoke a chilling sense of otherworldly presence and the tantalizing allure of the unknown. Picture a time when the flickering candlelight cast dancing shadows on rough-hewn walls, and the air was heavy with the scent of incense and fear. In the depths of the night, when the world slept and dreams wandered unguarded, succubi and incubi emerged from the darkness, a malevolent presence that preyed upon mortal souls. Succubi, often depicted as seductive female demons, and incubi, their male counterparts, embodied the temptations of the flesh and the spiritual dangers that lurk beyond the threshold of consciousness. According to medieval beliefs, succubi and incubi would visit sleeping individuals, seducing them in their dreams and draining their life force through unholy unions. These encounters were seen as not merely physical but spiritual violations, corrupting the purity of body and soul. Victims would awaken with a sense of profound unease, haunted by memories of encounters that blurred the lines between nightmare and reality. 
The terror of succubi and incubi was compounded by their association with broader fears of demonic influence and the eternal battle between good and evil. In the eyes of medieval theologians and storytellers, these demons embodied the consequences of succumbing to carnal desires and straying from the path of righteous living. Their presence served as a cautionary tale, warning against the dangers of indulgence and the allure of forbidden pleasures that could lead to damnation. Yet, amidst the fear and condemnation, the stories of succubi and incubi also speak to deeper human truths and desires. They reflect the anxieties and longings of a society grappling with its own mortality and the mysteries of the night. The allure of the forbidden and the unknown, embodied in these demons, taps into primal fears and desires that transcend time and culture. In medieval art and literature, succubi and incubi were depicted as grotesque yet alluring figures, their forms twisted by demonic nature yet possessing a seductive charm that ensnared the unwary. They appeared in tales of saints and sinners, martyrs and mystics, weaving a narrative of spiritual struggle and the eternal quest for redemption in the face of temptation. Through the tales of succubi and incubi, medieval European mythology offers a glimpse into the complexities of human nature and the enduring battle between light and darkness, virtue and vice. These demons remind us that the shadows of the past continue to cast their long reach into the present, shaping our beliefs, fears, and aspirations in ways both profound and unsettling. Today, as we reflect on the haunting figures of succubi and incubi, we are reminded of the timeless power of myth and legend to provoke thought and evoke emotion. Their stories challenge us to confront our own inner demons, to resist the allure of temptation, and to strive towards a life guided by virtue, courage, and the pursuit of spiritual fulfillment. And as we navigate the complexities of modern existence, their legacy serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring struggle between light and darkness that defines the human experience. In the enchanted realms of Slavic folklore, where mist-shrouded forests and ancient rituals weave tales of wonder and peril, demons like Baba Yaga and Chernobog stand as primal forces of nature, embodying the duality of light and darkness, life and death. These evocative figures resonate with a blend of awe-inspiring power and eerie mystique, captivating hearts with their enigmatic presence and enduring significance in the rich tapestry of Slavic mythology. Imagine a land where the silver moon casts its glow over dense woodlands, where the silence is broken only by the whispering winds and the rustling of leaves. Here, amidst the tangled roots and towering trees, Baba Yaga dwells, a fearsome witch with iron teeth and a nose that sniffs out the scent of human flesh. Her hut stands upon chicken legs, turning to face visitors with walls that groan and creak, and a gate that screams as it opens. Baba Yaga is both ancient crone and wise woman, a figure of chaos and wisdom, testing the courage and wit of those who seek her counsel or cross her path. Legends speak of Baba Yaga flying through the night sky in a mortar, wielding a pestle as her oar, and sweeping away her tracks with a broom made of silver birch. She is a guardian of the forest secrets, a mistress of magic who bestows blessings or curses with equal measure. To encounter Baba Yaga is to confront the raw power of nature and the untamed wilderness that both nurtures and threatens human existence. Across Slavic lands, Baba Yaga is revered as a figure of profound mystery and reverence, her tales passed down through generations as cautionary tales and sources of wisdom. She embodies the transformative power of adversity and the necessity of confronting fears and challenges to attain growth and understanding. In contrast to the enigmatic Baba Yaga, Chernobog emerges as a darker counterpart, a deity of shadows and strife, whose name means Black God. In Slavic mythology, Chernobog is associated with night, darkness, and the eternal struggle against the forces of light and creation represented by his counterpart, Belobog. Chernobog embodies the fearsome aspect of the natural world, the harsh realities of mortality, and the inevitability of death. He is depicted as a powerful and malevolent deity, capable of bringing misfortune, illness, and discord upon those who incur his wrath or neglect to honor him with proper reverence. Yet, Chernobog also symbolizes the cyclical nature of existence, the necessary balance between light and darkness, creation and destruction, that sustains the cosmos. 
In Slavic rituals and folklore, Chernobog is invoked during winter solstice and other significant rites, offering prayers and sacrifices to appease his wrath and ensure prosperity and protection for the community. His presence reminds believers of the fragility of life and the eternal dance of forces beyond moral comprehension. Through the tales of Baba Yaga and Chernobog, Slavic mythology offers a poignant reflection on the complexities of human nature and the eternal struggle between order and chaos, light and darkness. These demons evoke a primal response, stirring emotions of awe, fear, and reverence, while offering profound insights into the natural world and the mysteries that dwell within it. Today, as we reflect on the ancient figures of Baba Yaga and Chernobog, we are reminded of the enduring power of myth and folklore to illuminate the human experience and provoke contemplation. Their stories challenge us to confront our own fears and uncertainties, to embrace the wild and untamed aspects of existence, and to seek wisdom and resilience in the face of life's mysteries and adversities. And as we journey through the enchanted realms of Slavic mythology, we carry with us the timeless lessons and timeless truths embodied in the legends of Baba Yaga and Chernobog, in the misty realms of Celtic mythology, where ancient forests whisper secrets and the veil between worlds grows thin, demons like Puka and Banshee emerge as spectral guardians and harbingers of fate. These ethereal beings weave tales of mystery and sorrow, evoking a sense of awe and trepidation that resonates deep within the soul. Imagine a twilight landscape where the rolling hills are cloaked in emerald green, and the air is thick with the scent of heather and sea spray. Here, amidst the rugged beauty of Ireland and Scotland, Puka roams, a shape-shifting spirit known for its capricious nature and mischievous deeds. Sometimes appearing as a wild horse with eyes of fire, or a cunning hare leading travelers astray, Puka embodies the unpredictable forces of nature and the enchantment that lurks in the shadows. Legends tell of weary travelers encountering Puka on misty moors or by secluded lakes, where the spirit tests their courage and wit. To win favor with Puka is to gain protection and good fortune, yet to encourage wrath invites chaos and misfortune. In Celtic folklore, Puka serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between the mortal realm and the supernatural, where respect for nature and humility are essential virtues. In stark contrast to the whimsical Puka, the Banshee emerges as a harbinger of death, a mournful spirit whose wailing cry echoes through the night, foretelling the imminent passing of a loved one. Banshee appears as a veiled woman with pale skin and long, flowing hair, her mournful lament stirring hearts with sorrow and dread. According to Celtic tradition, each noble family is assigned its own Banshee, who watches over their lineage with unwavering vigilance. Her cry, often heard at night or during twilight hours, serves as a solemn warning to prepare for the passing of a cherished member of the clan. To hear the Banshee's cry is to confront the inevitability of mortality and the deep bonds of kinship that transcend the boundaries of life and death. Through the tales of Puka and Banshee, Celtic mythology weaves a tapestry of emotions, from the whimsical delight of encountering a shape-shifting spirit to the profound sorrow of facing the end of life's journey. These demons embody the mystical connection between humanity and the natural world, offering insights into the fragility of existence and the enduring power of ancestral spirits. In Celtic rituals and traditions, offerings and prayers are made to appease Puka and honor the Banshee, seeking protection and guidance in times of uncertainty and loss. Their presence reminds believers of the interconnectedness of all living things and the eternal cycle of birth, life, death, and rebirth that binds the cosmos together. Today, as we reflect on the ancient figures of Puka and Banshee, we are reminded of the timeless power of myth and folklore to evoke emotions and provoke contemplation. Their stories challenge us to embrace the mysteries of the natural world, to honor our ancestors and the spirits that watch over us, and to find solace in the enduring bonds of love and kinship that transcend the boundaries of time and space. And as we wander through the enchanted landscapes of Celtic mythology, we carry with us the echoes of Puka's laughter and the haunting lament of the Banshee, forever intertwined with the tapestry of human experience and the mysteries of the ages. In the realms of ancient mythology, beyond the veil of mortal understanding, dwell the mighty demon kings and princes, figures of infernal majesty and malevolent power whose names evoke both fear and fascination. These dark sovereigns, such as Baal and Belphegor, reign over realms of fire and shadow, commanding legions of infernal spirits and wielding influence over the fate of mortals. 
Imagine a realm where the air shimmers with heat and the ground trembles beneath cloven hooves. Here, amidst the flickering flames of a towering citadel, Ball stands as a colossus of infernal night, a deity of storms and fertility, revered by ancient cultures across the Near East. Known as the Lord of the Heavens, Ball commands thunder and lightning, bringing both life-giving rain and devastating storms to the lands below. Yet, behind his divine facade lies a darker aspect, a figure of sacrifice and ritual, demanding worship and obedience from those who seek his favor. In ancient texts and inscriptions, Baal is portrayed as a complex deity, embodying both the creative forces of nature and the destructive power of the storm. His cults flourished in times of prosperity and were appeased in times of crisis, offering prayers and sacrifices to ensure bountiful harvests and protection from calamity. To encounter Baal was to confront the awesome majesty of the natural world and the unknowable depths of divine will. In stark contrast to Baal's stormy dominion, Belphegor emerges as a prince of decadence and temptation, a figure of sloth and indulgence who entices mortals with promises of wealth and pleasure. In medieval demonology, Belphegor is depicted as a demon of invention and ingenuity, inspiring humanity to pursue idle pursuits and material gain at the expense of spiritual growth. Legends tell of Belphegor whispering secrets of alchemy and forbidden knowledge to mortal scholars and artisans, leading them down paths of ambition and hubris. His influence spreads like a contagion, corrupting hearts and minds with promises of wealth and power, while draining the soul of its moral fiber and divine grace. Through the tales of Baal and Belphegor, ancient mythology offers a glimpse into the timeless struggle between ambition and restraint, creation and destruction, that defines the human condition. These demon kings embody the primal forces of nature and the darker aspects of human desire, challenging mortals to confront their own vulnerabilities and aspirations in the face of cosmic uncertainty. In rituals and ceremonies, practitioners sought to appease Baal and invoke Belphegor, offering prayers and sacrifices to gain favor or protection from their capricious whims. Their presence reminds believers of the fragility of mortal existence and the eternal dance of light and shadow that shapes the destiny of worlds. Today, as we reflect on the ancient figures of Baal and Belphegor, we are reminded of the enduring power of myth and folklore to provoke contemplation and evoke emotions. Their stories challenge us to confront our own ambitions and desires, to navigate the complexities of life with humility and courage, and to seek wisdom and spiritual fulfillment amidst the trials and tribulations of existence. And as we gaze into the abyss where demon kings and princes hold court, we carry with us the echoes of their thunderous voices and the seductive whispers of temptation, forever intertwined with the tapestry of human experience and the mysteries of the ages. In the shadows of myth and legend, amidst the whispered tales of ancient lore, dwell the notorious demonic figures, Asterisk, Lilith, Asterisk, and Mammon, whose names evoke a shiver of fascination and fear. These enigmatic beings embody the darker facets of human nature and the eternal struggle between desire and consequence, weaving a tapestry of temptation and redemption that resonates through the ages. Imagine a world where twilight lingers, casting long shadows upon forgotten ruins and winding alleys. Here, amidst the echoes of forgotten prayers and the scent of incense, Lilith emerges, a figure of seduction and defiance, whose origins trace back to ancient Mesopotamia and Jewish folklore. She is the first wife of Adam, banished from Eden for refusing subservience, condemned to roam the earth as a restless spirit. Legends speak of Lilith as a temptress of the night, haunting men's dreams and preying upon their desires. With flowing hair and eyes that burn like coals, she embodies feminine power and autonomy, challenging patriarchal norms and asserting her own sovereignty. To encounter Lilith is to confront the allure of forbidden knowledge and the consequences of unrestrained passion. In medieval demonology, Mammon emerges as a figure of avarice and greed, a demon who entices mortals with promises of wealth and material gain, while ensnaring their souls in a web of insatiable desire. Mammon manifests as a golden idol, adorned with jewels and coins, his voice a soothing whisper that lures the ambitious and the desperate alike. Stories abound of merchants and rulers who invoke Mammon's name, seeking prosperity and power at any cost. Yet, behind the glittering facade lies a profound truth that wealth acquired through greed is fleeting, and the pursuit of material gain can lead to spiritual impoverishment. 
Mammon embodies the eternal struggle between ambition and integrity, challenging mortals to discern the true value of their pursuits. Through the tales of Lilith and Mammon, mythology offers a poignant reflection on the complexities of human desire and the moral dilemmas that shape our destinies. These notorious figures provoke introspection and contemplation, reminding us of the temptations that lie in wait and the choices that define our souls. In rituals and rites, practitioners invoke Lilith for protection and empowerment, seeking her guidance in matters of love and independence. Meanwhile, Mammon is appeased with offerings and sacrifices, his blessings sought by those who seek worldly success and financial security. Today, as we reflect on the infamous figures of Lilith and Mammon, we are reminded of the enduring power of myth and folklore to evoke emotions and provoke thought. Their stories challenge us to examine our own desires and motivations, to navigate the complexities of life with integrity and humility, and to seek spiritual fulfillment amidst the trials and tribulations of existence. And as we tread the shadowed paths where Lilith and Mammon hold sway, we carry with us the echoes of their whispers and the lessons of their legends, forever intertwined with the tapestry of human experience and the mysteries that dwell within the human heart. In the annals of myth and legend, amidst the eternal struggle between light and darkness, stand the mythological figures who combat demons, asterisk Saint Michael asterisk and Solomon, beacons of courage and wisdom whose tales inspire awe and reverence. These heroic figures embody the steadfast resolve to confront malevolent forces and protect humanity from the shadows that threaten to engulf the world in chaos. Imagine a realm where the boundaries between heaven and earth blur, and celestial armies clash against infernal legions. Here, amidst the celestial radiance, Saint Michael emerges as a warrior archangel of unmatched valor and righteousness. Clad in armor that gleams like the sun, wielding a sword that flashes with divine light, he stands as the embodiment of divine justice and protector of the innocent. Legends recount St. Michael's battles against the forces of darkness, leading the heavenly host in epic confrontations against rebellious angels and demonic adversaries. His unwavering faith and indomitable spirit inspire hope and courage in mortals, reminding them that even in the darkest of times, the light of righteousness will prevail. In Judeo-Christian tradition, Solomon emerges as a figure of unparalleled wisdom and mastery over the supernatural realm. Renowned for his ability to command demons and spirits with the power of his ring, Solomon embodies the union of earthly wisdom and divine insight. Through his legendary wisdom and divine favor, Solomon becomes a symbol of human potential to transcend the mundane and commune with the celestial and infernal realms alike. Stories abound of Solomon's encounters with demons, where he outweets and commands them to build the Temple of Jerusalem and perform miraculous feats. His mastery over the supernatural serves as a testament to the power of knowledge and spiritual discernment, offering lessons on the importance of virtue and humility in the face of temptation and adversity. Through the tales of St. Michael and Solomon, mythology offers a profound reflection on the triumph of good over evil and the enduring power of faith and wisdom. These mythological figures serve as beacons of hope and guidance, inspiring believers to confront their fears and adversaries with courage and resolve. In rituals and prayers, believers invoke St. Michael's intercession for protection and strength in spiritual battles against malevolent forces. Meanwhile, Solomon's wisdom continues to illuminate the path of seekers and scholars, reminding them of the transformative power of knowledge and the importance of moral integrity in their pursuits. Today, as we reflect on the mythological figures who combat demons, we are reminded of the timeless lessons they impart, of courage in adversity, wisdom in decision-making, and faith in divine providence. Their stories challenge us to embrace our own inner strengths and virtues, to stand firm against the forces of darkness, and to strive for goodness and righteousness in all our endeavors. And as we walk the paths where St. Michael and Solomon once tread, we carry with us the echoes of their valor and wisdom, forever intertwined with the tapestry of human experience and the eternal struggle between light and shadow. In the vast tapestry of human creativity, demonology transcends mere folklore to weave itself into the fabric of literature, art, and popular culture, a haunting echo that resonates through the ages, stirring the soul with tales of darkness and redemption. 
Imagine a world where shadows dance upon the pages of ancient manuscripts and canvas, where artists and storytellers alike dare to glimpse beyond the veil of the mundane. Here, demonology emerges not just as a study of malevolent entities, but as a reflection of humanity's deepest fears and desires, an exploration of the eternal conflict between good and evil that captivates hearts and minds. In literature, demons lurk within the pages of epic tales and whispered legends, embodying the primal fears of humanity and challenging protagonists to confront their own inner demons. From the infernal pact of Faust to the cosmic horrors of Lovecraftian mythos, writers conjure worlds where mortal souls wrestle with temptation and the consequences of forbidden knowledge. Artists, too, harness the power of demonology to evoke visceral emotions and provoke contemplation. In the twisted visages of Hieronymus Bosch's The Garden of Earthly Delights or the haunting beauty of Gustave Doré's illustrations of Dante's Inferno, demons manifest as symbols of moral decay and spiritual peril, their forms a canvas upon which human frailty and resilience are painted in stark relief. Popular culture, in its myriad forms, embraces demonology as a source of both terror and fascination. From blockbuster films like The Exorcist, where the battle for a tormented soul unfolds in harrowing detail, to video games like Diablo, where players confront infernal hordes and epic quests for salvation, demons become icons of primal dread and the quest for heroism. Even in music, demonology finds expression, its themes of temptation and damnation echoing through operatic arias and heavy metal anthems alike. Artists from Mozart to Iron Maiden weave tales of Faustian bargains and infernal majesty, their compositions stirring the soul with melodies that evoke the struggle between light and shadow, virtue and vice. Through literature, art, and popular culture, demonology transcends its origins as mere folklore to become a mirror of humanity's deepest fears and aspirations. It challenges us to confront the darkness within ourselves, to wrestle with the moral ambiguities of existence, and to seek redemption amidst the chaos of a world haunted by unseen forces. As we immerse ourselves in the realms where demonology reigns supreme, we confront the timeless questions that define our humanity. What drives us to temptation? How do we confront our fears and find courage in the face of adversity? And ultimately, what does it mean to be human in a world where the boundaries between light and darkness, good and evil, are forever blurred? In the echoes of literature, the strokes of art, and the rhythms of popular culture, demonology becomes more than a study of supernatural beings. It becomes a testament to the human spirit's capacity for resilience, creativity, and the eternal quest for understanding in a universe fraught with mysteries and wonders. In the realm of psychological interpretations, demons cease to be mere supernatural entities and instead emerge as potent symbols of the human psyche, an exploration of our deepest fears, desires, and unresolved conflicts that resonate within the caverns of our souls. Picture a landscape where the shadows of the mind stretch long and dark, where the demons that haunt us are not cloaked in horns and fangs, but in the complexities of our thoughts and emotions. Here, psychological interpretations of demons invite us to peer into the abyss of our subconscious, confronting the primal forces that shape our perceptions and behaviors. At the heart of these interpretations lies the concept of the shadow self, a Jungian archetype that embodies the repressed and hidden aspects of our personality. Like a demon lurking in the recesses of our psyche, the shadow self represents the parts of ourselves that we deny or suppress, our fears, insecurities, and primal instincts that we dare not acknowledge in the light of day. In the depths of our dreams and fantasies, demons manifest as symbols of our inner turmoil and psychological dissonance. They embody our darkest impulses and unresolved traumas, challenging us to confront the aspects of ourselves that we fear the most. Through this confrontation, we are compelled to embark on a journey of self-discovery and introspection, seeking to integrate these fragmented parts of our psyche into a cohesive whole. Moreover, demons and psychological interpretation can also represent psychological disorders and mental illnesses that plague the mind. From the tormenting voices of schizophrenia to the suffocating grip of anxiety and depression, these inner demons manifest as relentless adversaries that test our resilience and sanity. The struggle against these psychological demons mirrors the heroic journey of mythological tales, where protagonists must face trials and tribulations to emerge stronger and more self-aware. 
It is a journey fraught with peril and uncertainty, where the battleground is not a physical realm, but the labyrinthine corridors of the mind itself. Through therapeutic practices and introspective journeys, individuals seek to exorcise these psychological demons, to bring light to the darkness, to find healing and reconciliation within themselves. It is a process of confronting our fears and vulnerabilities, of embracing our imperfections and finding compassion for the wounded aspects of our being. In literature and film, psychological interpretations of demons are portrayed with chilling authenticity, capturing the visceral struggles of characters who battle their inner demons. From the haunting portrayal of dissociative identity disorder in Fight Club to the surreal exploration of psychosis in Black Swan, these narratives offer poignant insights into the human condition and the complexities of mental health. Ultimately, the psychological interpretation of demons invites us to acknowledge the inherent duality of human nature, the capacity for both light and darkness, good and evil, within each of us. It challenges us to confront our shadows without judgment or fear, to embrace the totality of who we are, and to embark on a journey of self-acceptance and healing. In this introspective journey, we discover that the true demons we face are not external entities but reflections of our own inner struggles and unresolved conflicts. Through courage and compassion, we can transcend these psychological barriers, forging a path towards wholeness and inner peace. As we navigate the labyrinth of our psyche, confronting our psychological demons with empathy and understanding, we come to realize that the journey of self-discovery is not just about conquering fears, but about embracing the richness and complexity of our humanity. And in this realization, we find solace and strength to confront life's challenges with resilience and grace. In the tapestry of human culture, the influence of demon myths weaves a profound narrative that transcends time and space. A testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the human quest to understand the mysteries of existence. Imagine a world where myths and legends are not just tales of caution or entertainment, but threads that bind civilizations together across generations. Here, the influence of demon myths unfolds as a tapestry of fear and fascination, shaping beliefs, art, and societal norms with its chilling embrace. From ancient civilizations to modern societies, demon myths have served as potent symbols of humanity's primal fears and aspirations. They embody the forces of chaos and darkness that lurk at the edges of our collective consciousness, challenging us to confront the shadows that haunt our dreams and stir our imaginations. In ancient cultures, demon myths were often invoked to explain the inexplicable, the capricious forces of nature, the trials of illness and misfortune, or the moral ambiguities of human behavior. Demons became scapegoats for the unknown, personifications of malevolent intent that demanded appeasement or defiance through rituals and offerings. Through the ages, demon myths evolved alongside human civilization, adapting to cultural shifts and religious interpretations. In Christianity, demons became the fallen angels cast out of heaven, embodying rebellion and temptation in the cosmic struggle between good and evil. Their influence permeated art and literature, from the haunting depictions of infernal torment in Dante's Inferno to the chilling portrayals of demonic possession in classic horror films. In Eastern cultures, demon myths took on diverse forms, from the mischievous spirits of Japanese folklore to the wrathful deities of Hindu mythology. These myths not only entertained, but also imparted moral lessons and spiritual teachings, offering insights into the complexities of karma, destiny, and the cyclical nature of existence. The influence of demon myths extends beyond religious and cultural boundaries, permeating popular culture with its dark allure. In literature, demons inspire tales of heroism and sacrifice, challenging protagonists to confront their deepest fears and unearth hidden truths. In art, they manifest as symbols of rebellion and creative expression, capturing the imagination with their fantastical forms and infernal majesty. Moreover, demon myths resonate deeply within the human psyche, tapping into primal fears of the unknown and the supernatural. They evoke a visceral response, stirring emotions of awe, dread, and curiosity, a testament to their enduring power to provoke introspection and contemplation. In contemporary society, Demon myths continue to shape narratives of identity and belonging, influencing everything from fashion trends to political discourse. 
They serve as metaphors for societal anxieties and cultural taboos, offering a lens through which we examine our deepest fears and aspirations as individuals and as communities. Ultimately, the influence of demon myths on human culture is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling to transcend time and space. They remind us of our shared humanity and the universal quest for meaning and understanding in a world fraught with mysteries and uncertainties. As we navigate the labyrinth of myth and legend, the influence of demon myths invites us to confront our fears with courage and curiosity, to embrace the darkness within and without, and to forge a path towards wisdom and enlightenment in the face of life's eternal mysteries. In the fabric of human imagination, the enduring fascination with demonic beings threads a tale of intrigue and introspection, a narrative that beckons us to peer into the shadows of our fears and desires, where the boundaries between good and evil blur and the forbidden fruit of knowledge tempts our curiosity. Imagine a realm where darkness dances with light, where the allure of the forbidden casts a mesmerizing spell that transcends cultures and epics. Here, the enduring fascination with demonic beings unfolds as a mirror to our deepest fears and aspirations, a reflection of the complexities that define our humanity. From ancient folklore to modern literature, demonic beings have captivated our imaginations with their infernal majesty and tantalizing malevolence. They embody the primal forces that stir within us, the rebellious spirit, the seductive allure of power, and the eternal quest for transcendence beyond mortal constraints. In myth and legend, demonic beings often emerge as adversaries to heroes and gods alike, challenging the very foundations of order and morality. They embody the shadowy aspects of our psyche, personifying our fears of the unknown and the uncontrollable. Yet, they also represent a mirror to our desires, a tantalizing glimpse into the forbidden realms of knowledge, pleasure, and power that tempt us with promises of transcendence and transformation. Throughout history, the fascination with demonic beings has evolved alongside human civilization, adapting to cultural shifts and religious interpretations. In ancient Mesopotamia, demons were invoked in rituals of protection and exorcism, their names whispered in fear and reverence as guardians against malevolent forces. In medieval Europe, they haunted the imaginations of peasants and nobles alike, lurking in the shadows of plague-ridden cities and whispered tales of dark magic. Christianity cast demons as fallen angels, banished from heaven for their rebellion against divine order, a narrative that resonates with themes of redemption, temptation, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. Their presence in religious texts and artworks served as cautionary tales of moral decay and spiritual peril, inspiring awe and dread in equal measure. In literature and art, demonic beings have inspired tales of horror and heroism, challenging protagonists to confront their inner demons and wrestle with the complexities of human nature. From the chilling portrayals of demonic possession in The Exorcist to the haunting allure of vampires and succubi in Gothic literature, these narratives explore the boundaries of morality and mortality with a raw intensity that resonates deeply with readers and viewers alike. Moreover, the enduring fascination with demonic beings reflects our innate curiosity about the darker aspects of existence, the existential questions that haunt our dreams and shape our nightmares. They serve as metaphors for the internal struggles and external conflicts that define the human experience, offering a lens through which we explore the complexities of identity, desire, and the pursuit of meaning in a world fraught with uncertainty. In contemporary culture, the allure of demonic beings persists in various forms, from blockbuster films and television series to video games and graphic novels. They continue to captivate audiences with their complex narratives and compelling characters, inviting us to question our assumptions about morality and the nature of evil. Ultimately, the enduring fascination with demonic beings is a testament to the power of storytelling to illuminate the shadowy recesses of our psyche and provoke introspection and empathy. They challenge us to confront our fears with courage and curiosity, to embrace the complexities of our humanity, and to forge a path towards understanding and enlightenment in the face of life's eternal mysteries. As we gaze into the abyss of myth and legend, the enduring fascination with demonic beings invites us to confront our own inner demons, to acknowledge the shadows that lurk within and to find strength in our ability to navigate the complexities of existence with courage and compassion.